Joe Hyzinga, I was a little disappointed when I started reading about election denialism is hitting the mainstream, so much so that nearly half of Republicans say they refuse to accept election results uh, if Trump doesn't win. Uh, okay. What does that mean? Who cares if you if you refuse to accept it? Well, Isn't this like serving somebody divorce papers and they say, you, I don't want a divorce. And, well, that's tough. The court already said you get to, I get to divorce you. If that's you're going to scream and yell about it, I don't care about that. But I do care, Yeah. as you read on in this, in this story from USA Today, they say some say that they would take action to overturn the results. I'm curious what they mean by take action. And this is not just a Republican issue, too. A quarter of Democrats say that they wouldn't accept the results if their candidate loses. And fewer Democrats than Republicans, but still some, say that they would take action to overturn the results. Now, does take action mean write a sternly worded letter to the Secretary of State? Or does take action mean pew, 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 call to arms? Big difference. Yeah, all right. Can I just... I'm sorry. Good Meryl Scythe. I'm sorry. I got to call BS on this. On the story? On the whole. No, not on the story, but on the survey results. Okay. I don't think there's anything flawed with the survey. Uh There's nothing flawed with the. So how do you call BS on the results? Because people are full of crap. Oh, so you're saying they want to say that they have rage. Do you remember? It's been, I don't know, eight or ten years. We had a story. Maybe Becky Lynn remembers this. We had a story about a teacher who I think wrapped the kid up in a blanket or something. And the kid was throwing a temper tantrum and the teacher wrapped the kid up in a blanket and held the kid down until the kid calmed down. Mm-hmm. Right. And we had a, we, in the way that we talked about the story, I was, uh, I was in another station in town. The way we talked about the story was that, you know, the teacher should not have done this, that, that, that we understand the teacher trying to take control of the situation and prevent harm. But also, I don't know, there was something else that went on with the it. The kid Rito is not the uh, good solution. I, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't exactly remember what the story was, but I remember I had a guy that said, he called me up and he said, I'd like to see a teacher do that to my kid and see what happens. Hmm. Right? Do okay. you know do you know what my response was? What? What did he say? What happens? He goes, they wouldn't forget it, I can tell you that. I go, what do you mean? In, they would regret it. Insinuating okay, how, that, that how he so? would show up and beat them up or shoot them? He said, what are you going to do, beat up the teacher? He's like, well, I mean, no. I go, okay. Mm-hmm. So maybe we just think before we speak. We talk a little more Yosemite Sam, but we don't actually fire off our six shooters. I'm not worried about the 14% that they say that they would take action. What about I'm the wor- 11% of Democrats who say not, they would take action? Not worried about it, because the vast majority are, are fools who are just talking bravado. They're peacocking, right? That's all they're doing. They're like, you won't mess with me. <clears throat> what do you? What, what is that in wrestling? Is the entrance me- walk-up music? <clears throat> The, yeah, the walkout. rock yeah. music, fireworks behind me. I'm really tough, but I, I got in the ring. I love to see your entrance video. It'd be great. You know, yesterday, it's funny. Yesterday, there was a football game. The New York Jets and the New England Patriots played last night, mm-hmm. right? And the Patriots won their first game of the year. Big upset over Cincinnati. The Patriots were, wow, this team might not be terrible. And then, so they had yeah, the New England Patriots. Ah! They came out, they're like, yeah, we're going to take down the Jets. They got cooked 24 to 3. It was bad. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's a lot of talk. It's a lot of bark. It's no bite. I'm not worried about the 14% of Republicans. I'm not worried about the 14% of Republicans who say that they're uh, ready to take action. I'm not worried about the 11% of Democrats who say they're ready to take action. I am worried about the one tenth of 1% on each side Mm -hmm. that actually would take action. So you weren't out here, and I don't remember if this was. 2022, I believe, Yeah, when we had our last election out here. And I recall the Maricopa County Tabulation and Election Center, again, I think it was 2022, it might have been 2020, put up fencing and established oh, yeah, I remember it. a perimeter. I was doing some work for KTAR at the okay. time, yeah. Um, and there were a number of individuals, not 14% of Republicans or 11% of Democrats, no. but- but there were a number of individuals who showed up with some weapons as well. Yeah, Meal Team and 6 was there. Stood outside and had their And what are they going to do? AKs or whatever. This is what I come back to. What are you going to do? Are you going to shoot me for counting ballots? I don't. I agree with you. I think even 
the vast majority of who say they're going to do something aren't. Even the vast majority of the people who showed up aren't. But why? It's the one that I worry about. But why are we also going through measures at tabulation and election centers across the country to install uh, bulletproof air purification systems inside because of, of the one. Yeah. Because of the one tenth of one percent, or that one person from Meal Team Six that does show up and decide they're going to take action because they don't like Stephen Richer. Or what you know better than I do. What was the fallout in Michigan with Gretchen Whitmer, the oh, governor some, there, where there was it wasn't just one, it was and it wasn't like seven guys. five thousand, but it was a few guys who had some plot or conspiracy to they were kidnap just, the governor. Oh yeah, but I don't remember what happened there too. That story got very odd, like. They were making claims that they were set up, right? Yeah. I don't remember how that yeah. all fell out. Like where two of the, I think two or three pled guilty and the other ones actually they they got off because they claimed that they were set up entrapment or some garbage, whatever it was. But yeah, their plan was to kidnap the governor and then hold a mock trial on YouTube Perfectly and then reasonable. And then sentence her on YouTube sure. and then I believe execute her on mm. YouTube, which uh, do people like that concern you? Which I think there was a bad apocalyptic movie that was kind of in that same vein. I think I saw something like that. I think I saw a movie. Yeah, those people. That's the one tenth of one percent that actually mm. do worry me. Yeah. It's not the people answering their landline to take a, a survey from some random survey company about how whether or not they want their candidate to win. Joe, would you be upset if your uh, if, if the Michigan Wolverines lost the national championship? Yes. Okay. Would you be even more upset if it was because of a bad call by a referee? Yes. Yes, of course you would. So are would you, you arguing- accept the results or would you continue to say forevermore that there should be an asterisk? By that national championship because that wasn't uh, – Michigan didn't get beat by Alabama. Michigan got beat by the refs. And for the rest of your life, you would say that. I tend to accept the results. But if you look back at 1997, I would argue that Michigan was, won a national championship. No, Nebraska, Nebraska did, Joe. Yeah. yeah, no. That's actually where I was going to go. Mm-hmm. So we don't necessarily want to accept the results. Mm-hmm. Are we going to take action? No, we're going to buy more gear and we're going to root our team on next time. So help me understand where you stand on this survey, too. You said you believe the results are totally legit. I'm curious, yeah. and obviously I, we, just, I think the people we are don't not know legit. the ideology behind it, too. Are you arguing that those people taking this survey were asked, you know, would you be upset if your candidate lost come November? Yes. Would you take action? I would love to know that step of how exactly was the question asked? Was it already put mm. in their head to the surveyee, hey, would you be so upset that you would take action? Yeah, I might. Yeah. And they're not even thinking that, but then the surveyor puts says, in their uh-huh. head, well, well, would you take action? I'm, yeah. Yeah, like you said, what does that mean? Write a letter to my congressman, or does that mean I'm going to pick up a musket? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, good questions, Joe. Good uh-huh. questions. Thanks for watching the Chris and Joe Show. Click to see more from Chris and Joe and tap the button in the middle to subscribe to KTAR News.